All right, welcome back. We're gonna go and investigate the Crimson Tower and see if there's anything we can actually do here, but I have a feeling there isn't. Uh, I think we need to gather those three toads first. And they're gonna scatter all over the place. And oh yeah, there's already some shit here. Yes, I am Mario. Yes, he is some sort of bridge expert. A real bridge repair guru. Yeah, there's a bridge in Port Prisma that needs to uh, be looked at. There we go. That actually is good. I think that's going to be a massive thing for us. See, we can't get through here without three toads. And that red one we saw was one of them. So we can't do anything more here. But now we actually have to return to Port Prisma to um, unlock another pathway forward. Being said... Not entirely sure what else there is to do, but this is one way we have to go, so we head back. And while we're here, well, there's a lot of colorless spots I need to fill in, so might as well uh, do some painting. Let me do that. Yeah, there's a lot just in around this area. Yeah, that's kind of why we're here, Huey. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that's the pathway forward. Man, there's a lot of them here. I feel like I should just, you know, speed through all this. should be embarrassed at that speed up. That's gonna, that was, uh, never should have done that. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all had to watch that. Also, I would like, oh, I missed a spot. I would also like to point it, I do know that the, um, the footage is still kind of a little wonky and weird. I apologize, I'm, I'm really doing my best here. And it's so hard. Watch these two toads just jump for joy as I'm on the bridge. Look at them. Wow, I didn't even realize they actually jumped with you. Yeah, I don't even know what to say either. It's a bridge. Oh, how are we going to get up on that roof? Well, my friend, I'm pretty sure you already taught technique for that stuff. Also, holy jeez, every single toad here has no color. Yeah. This is gonna be a, a still a, a very messy playthrough. But I feel like the footage is not nearly as bad as other options I've had, so let's hope we can work with this. Also, aren't newspapers already black and white? No, I don't want to hear shit. Also, yeah, I'm kind of running out of paint. You don't have any drinks, do you? I can't outlaw straws, because then only outlaws will have straws. I need, uh, I need some red paint. And some yellow. Good, I can use, I can use a blue, it's fine. Um... 
Bro, I just need to... How do I fix the sign? Uh... My guy! Yes, I know that! How am I supposed to fix it? Mail? Oh, that- I, I feel like the mail is gonna be- It's the owner of the room. Yeah, so I'm gonna say that this is not very interesting. Your brother Luigi with the green hat. So basically, I think that this is just a hint spot. Did he just... Did he just mail himself to his own building? How did you do that? I couldn't even do that by jumping. My guy, how on earth did you manage that? Also, gotta do this. Ooh, nice fell. All right, now if I'm correct, just line that shit up right there, and well, you know what comes next, which is break, break some laws here. I was- I, I started looking at the TV again like that was gonna help me. Alright. And there's a toad hiding behind that, so we'll probably have to talk- he'll probably get us roped into something. Oh yeah, he's gonna introduce us to the whole idea where if you run out of cards, Something happens in battle. See, we're gonna, he's gonna borrow our cards and then all of a sudden we're not gonna have any cards and then suddenly we're gonna get ambushed by a shy guy at any point now. Yeah, like that, right behind our dialogue box. All right, now Huey has to teach us, I guess, whatever happens when we don't have battle cards. I don't think I have used the battle spin once in all the time I have played this game. Yeah, they gotta do that. They gotta bring this back from Sticker Star. I don't think I've ever had to use this. It's all on the touch screen too, by the way, so th like this does not matter in the slightest. There we go, I got a fire flower. They're gonna teach you what happens and it's not gonna matter in the slightest because honestly, who's running out of cards? Just in case the first shot didn't kill. Yeah, we learned Battle Spin. We are never going to use it again. Did you just say thank you for letting me fondle your cards? Get... Okay, dude, leave. I don't want to see you again. Bro, you taught me something I'm never going to use. I'm sorry. Does this refill all of my paint? Oh, it doesn't refill any of my paint. I just get paint... Oh, but I get a lot of paint blotches here, so... A paint drop, so that should be useful considering I wasted it all on the port prisoner's uh, main plaza. Okay, well, that was the last uh, paint star there. Once the level is blue, that means everything's done. So now, well, we go down here. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even think we can do anything. Oh, can we? Don't we need to pull a turnip? Don't we need a plunger? Damn it. I feel like I need to go back to port prisma for something because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I need to go back. Or I'm gonna go back, try to do the thing, try to do the thing knowing I have to do it, but then no, but then the game telling me you need to get stuck first before we can, you can fix your problem. 
Oh, by the way, if there's lack of um, audio in the previous episodes, uh, that's because I accidentally had the audio off. So I apologize for how clearly unprepared I was for this. But hopefully this episode will have audio. So yeah, Luigi's... Luigi, oh, did you see the ringer? And it's this guy here. You're not a cop, right? Basically legally, more or less. Yeah, sure. Because apparently, um... You know, things... Yeah, they're probably not legal somewhere. This game has a really weird way of telling you things. Yeah, stacking up is like doing crack. Uh, you get addicted to squeezing the paint out of real life objects. Yeah, I'm not making any of this up by the way. This is basically what I'm seeing. Yep, this is a game. All right, well, thankfully speaking, once you finish a level like this, you can just press start to go back to the world menu. Or world map. Of course, there needs to be some loading screens in between, but now that we got the plunger that, trust me, we need. It's how we get in here. Oh, it has already been... Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot most of that was for... Okay, we can go a little bit longer, because I'm going to be speeding up a lot of that beginning. All right. So here's another thing that the cutout does, and that is, if you see square bots like this... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold up. Yeah, we're gonna get, uh... Oh, he's really stuck in there. Yeah, so that's the reason why... I don't care what you have to do, just unclog the pipe. Yeah, that's the hint. You have to go to the ringer. But you also need the, like, see there's a square card-shaped uh, boulder there? Yeah, we need to cut that out. Which we, you, you guys don't get to see us do. And then once we cut that out, we can put a card in there. I am explaining this, like, 12-year-old game. Or, like, 8-year-old game or something. This game is eight years old and I'm trying to explain how it works. I'm pretty sure anybody who's played this knows how it works. There. And now you guys get to see because... Well, now there's a plunger. Also, for whatever reason, it seems like the plunger goes back to being a 3D object. So we ring it out, turn it into a card, only for it to turn back into a 3D object. Also, you're green. Uh, I need purple. The rescue squad needs to be rescued. Yeah. Hugh is probably, like, one of the only, uh, slightly aware characters in this game, too. Like, this guy is, like, this game is throwing shen- Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this game is throwing shenanigans at you, and even Huey's is like, what the hell is this? Huey was designed into this game, and he doesn't even understand how this game works. A good example of when you're not using a shell card or a Koopa Troopa in any case, because that shell's going to go right back at you. Alright. He's going back down. How on earth did you not get stuck going down if you got stuck coming out? I was about to ask if the game was actually going to let me in this time, but I was pretty confident that it was actually going to let me in this time. Uh, he's got a crumpled piece of paper, and I'm pretty sure that's a toad. Uh, we, um, hammer business. Come on, Mario, you need to get a good shot here. There we go, that should do it. Oh, that didn't do it. Oh well. 
Nothing to worn, up ju worn out jump won't fix. There we go. Next save block I find I'm calling it. Because even with all that skipping, it's probably not going to amount to too much. Oh, I'm thinking I, I might need to hammer this guy. There we go. Oh, and his dialogue's all messed up. They crumpled me up without a second thought, like I was some fast food receipt. Look, dude, I appreciate it. But Paper Mario has never been about being made of paper, damn it! I'm so... <laughs> I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to get a counter, but I'm so excited for the goddamn Thousand Year Door remake. Alright, well, this is going to be a rather big area, so the moment I find a save block, we are calling it there. Which hopefully will be soon. It's not going to be soon, I'm going to be honest. Here we go. I am actually better off just exiting the area. Oi, buddy! Beat it! Oh yeah, by the way, flying enemies. In case you haven't noticed, uh, flying enemies don't like, like, just kind of laugh and spit at your hammer, so. Take care of this guy with some jumps. Alright, we're gonna call it an episode here. We're gonna talk to this toad, and I'm gonna go back out. And we're gonna call it there, yeah. I'm not going to it. Yeah, so the green guys are just going to be um, somewhere else. Alright. Well, that's it for this episode. Tune in next time or we will continue down the underground path. I'll see you guys then.